and so I'm going to pass around a few soil samples here. This is a peat soil, so if you want to, you put in your fingers and, and feel it, feel what it feels like. It's crumbly, but it's it's a nice little peat. Um, just so you get an idea, um, I'll pass around behind it the topsoil, good dark chalk topsoil. It looks like peat, but if you look at it really closely, it's more soil than rotted vegetation, and, and that's usually the difference between topsoil and peat. So those two soils you don't want to build a dam with. This one here is a silty clay. So take a little bit, feel it in your in your hands. You can feel it, 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 it does, it's, it's sticky. And that tells me that there's a lot of silt in it. But it, it will, um, if, you can, if you can get a piece out and work it, it will start forming into a, a clay ball. And I don't, and if you rub it between your fingers, you should, if there's sand in it, you'd be feeling those sand grains. So um, I didn't really talk about that too much, but clay is your, is your, your finest particles of, of um, mineral soils and clay's flat, which makes it really good for compacting. And then your next is up is, is that silty, um, that silt. Um, not, not the best stuff for building groundwater dam in, but it'll work. Yeah, when you say ripping, you're talking about squashing a piece, a long piece. Yeah, yep. Three inches. That's, that that's, too, that's too wet to do it right now. Right. You know, I've got good clay soils on top of that. Of this, I've got this decent clay soils here. We've got clay soils there, so I know I can build a, a fairly good, decent sized wetland here. Yeah, with with groundwater wetlands, you just don't you, you do want to make sure you don't have any compaction underneath after you spread the topsoil, or, or because with compaction you reduce that water moving up. With surface water, it doesn't matter too much, but I still like, especially most times you do have a little bit of groundwater feed. I do like keep making sure I don't have the basin compacted just to get that feed moving up through. We usually use a rock bucket, but he can use that. He can just put the blade in there and just break that compaction up a little bit to allow the water to move up through. We decided because this wetland is going to be around treatment, and I didn't talk too much around treatment, but with treatment you want the water to flow through most of the wetlands uh, and, and get contact with plants and that kind of thing. So, so it'll come in here. It'll slow down, and the the um, the heavy sediments will drop. Your fines probably will, it's not big enough for your fines to drop, but it'll go into this shallow wetland, which will be planted up, which will start taking out some of the fine sediments and start taking up the nutrients. Flow down, and you'll lose some of your fine sediments. Um, and um, but it just takes a while for the, the those clays to, to drop out.